Hey, Sinjui here. Here I have for you today is the High New Gundam from Model Comprehend. And this is my review. Um, if you don't really like this review and you want like a more professional type look, just head on to uh, Lee's channel. He, he already has a review of this. So, uh, let's get into this. Well, as you can see, first of all, I would like to mention that it is not supported by its fuel. Let's bring this down. See? So, it's standing on its own. That's a plus already. Okay, so let's see. Let's start off with the head. Mine doesn't really, like, stay on, right? I think it's the the connection or something, but well, this is the head, and here we have the uh, light up feature. I changed mine so it doesn't lock in, so you know, because sometimes you forget and it runs out of battery. <laughs> okay, well, onto articulation. All right, the head. Side to side, it has a little bit of up and down. Oh, this uh, is an independent, uh, independent shoulder, so it wiggles. This, this turns. There's an elbow bend about that far. Doesn't bend back. It turns by itself. Hands, they also turn. They have no wiggle because it's on a let's see a straight peg. Let's see for waist articulation, just side to side. The side skirts don't move. Front skirts move independently. Oh, there goes the head. Back skirts, they are connected together, so they move with each other. F the fuel tanks turn, they're on a poly cap. So, there you go. Pretty wide movements. The, I don't know, this is a stabilizer, I guess. This has a little bit of a wiggle, but not much. I think it's not supposed to move. Um, here's the leg, uh, it has a little bit of, um, the waist has a little bit of side to side, uh, to and fro, let's see, there's the, um, knee, it has not that great of a bend, there it is, and here's the ankle, goes side side up and down a little bit and that's about it okay let's put on his head so overall it's a pretty mm, not gonna say it's basically a figure more like a figure less like a kit so it's basically in like almost one pose Okay, so for hands, you get, or for accessories, you get two of the close fist hands, two of the trigger figure hands, two of the, uh, I guess these are sending off funnel hands. Beam saver, two ends. You get one normal one with a round peg instead of a flat one. That was a flat peg. Uh, beam cannon, pretty nice. Goes in the hand pretty well. So, uh, what else? As mentioned, it comes with a um, water slide decal. I haven't put it on yet. And 
because of the shield. This one's pretty nice. It's basically this blue piece, one piece, white, one piece, the gray, one piece. And I'll just show. It goes on. It's only for this hand, and it goes on like that. Not too bad. And here's the fin funnels. They basically um, take the head off. They go on the back. There's a pig right here. And there it is. And as previously mentioned, it also comes with a really shiny uh, effect parts. And it also goes on just the same, so I'm not going to do that. But I'll show how to put it on. Just open these up. And you're supposed to line these up with the little pegs right here. It's pretty tricky. And you just close these on. Just like that. Okay. Fin funnels also come with these little connector parts where they connect to the fin funnel when they're in the, like the attack mode, attack pose. And all you do is this, take this part in, and then it comes with the uh, clear rounds and you just stick one on and I haven't used these yet because I don't know how to pose this yet and that's basically about it I mean, it's a really nice kit oh yeah and it also comes with a stand just stick it on the bottom like so with it. It's pretty nice. Well, uh, this is, this hasn't been painted or anything yet. I'm still waiting for some parts to do a, uh, basically the build off with me. And whenever we finish uh, our kits, we'll throw a, another review up and let you guys decide who who's the winner. So, yeah, that's basically about it, and I'll see you next time.